my good people i hope you all are doing great from your respective places good morning good afternoon good evening from wherever you are watching us from whatsoever time we're still back and still in that particular mood of you know what we're still celebrating our one and only the prince the people's prince and that is the duke of sussex basically after him receiving an award just at the beginning of the year we are not even it's just the first month of the year and things are already turning out successful things are just turning out great for the duke of sussex the haters predicted so many things but neither of their opinions or their predictions or what they had anticipated for came to pass instead things went as expected and as organized by the ones who are you know presenting the award to the duke of sussex yes as the haters have made it look as if megan never wanted to attend it's true prince harry flew solo at the living legends of aviation event in beverly hills and it was awesome it was really really amazing for those of us who just got to watch him make the entrance though he he didn't use the red carpet himself in a velvet suit he really, really looked great. And there have been predictions that you know what, Megan never made an appearance because one of his, her kids is not, was not well, was unwell. Those are predictions. It could be true or lies, but we are not focusing on that. Because one thing that I personally am so sure about is that Harry and Megan are people who are who, who who know how to coordinate and if duchess megan was not able to make an appearance at that particular event it was for the best and uh, harry had no problem with it so if the two couple are okay with it what's the need of the haters and the derangers bringing themselves in the mix that's just a question harry looked great i didn't know this was a charity event also max salt island look even worse for the tantrums they threw about harry receiving the award that's why even before that event there was this whole statement that stated so well the reason as to why they were giving harry that particular award because harry is an all-rounded human being if i'm to say not in sports not in leadership not in like he's just one in a million he has all this in one plot and he knows how to coordinate and do things not letting any of them fall when it comes to charity he's good at it when it comes to you know supporting people supporting the veterans he is a he is a founder he is a ceo you can mention the things that he has been able to do you can mention the things that he is so much involved in and that's why uh, the living legend the living legend award committee or the ones nominating uh, sat down and saw the need over nominating him as one of the living legend that was not all the haters were not ready for this but it did happen yes it did happen it passed and now they are silent because they no longer know what to say they thought it wasn't going to happen some had even said probably you know the duke of sussex won't make an appearance but no he proved them wrong the question still remains the people who drew a lot of things the people who hated on harry and megan when they left the royal family looked like homeless parents beginning for scraps are, are pissed off that they are living their best life getting recognized and appreciated for their work and being celebrated for who they truly are they view them to be homeless. They view them that now they don't have security. It's the end of them. They, they even like, you know, took even the only cottage they had back in the UK. They saw that, you know what, that was the end of them. But that's not the case. Now they are busy out here not knowing what to say because they are so much pissed off. Just watching this whole recognition of the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex, how people are busy out here appreciating them for the things that they've invested their time, their space, the things that they've sacrificed for the sake of humanity, they are left their mouth wide open. Because what can they say? 
These are the same people who said Harry and Meghan should stop speaking about royals. Now they are everywhere wanting those people to be mentioned. The same same ones who are hating, the same same people who are on the front line trashing and, uh, you know, just saying of our Megan does not deserve to be with somebody like Harry. Now at this particular moment, there are the same same people trashing and, you know, just wanting to make, I don't know if this is desperation or what exactly are they trying to insinuate? Because now there are the same some people who are speaking about Harry and Megan morning afternoon evening when you wake up you just don't miss out anything to do with the sas success and i'm like wow so they still recognize that those people are so much relevant and yet they were the some people who used to say of oh, you know what harry and megan are irrelevant they even went ahead and brought about this whole story that megan is not loved and that people are just you know into her because she is with Harry. Those were some of the things that they were starting. Forgetting that Duchess Megan was a homemade person when it comes to character, her identity, her attitude. She was already a millionaire by herself, even before meeting the Duke of Sussex. She wasn't desperate to be part of the so-called royal family. That's where they miss it out. Now they are the ones begging for tributes, wanting Harry and Meghan back, but not knowing how to say it. How funny is that? And, uh, you know, our time is coming whereby, because we've already seen that the monarchy is fading. They forgot that Harry and Meghan were so much involved into so much engagements, never missed out to do whatever has been assigned to them and give out stupid excuses like how the so-called working of theirs do. Either way, they haven't seen it yet because the monarchy is fading they have lazy working royals who at the end of it all are still being funded by taxpayer money that they aren't even working for people who keep saying harry needs to go back to the uk to help his father what exactly does his father need help with what could harry do when he gets there those are some of the questions that i bet it would be good if they they just answered because they're like, you know what, Harry needs to make an appearance back in the UK. Harry needs to go visit his father for what purposes? Because I always say Harry has failed as a father, as a leader, as a grandfather. He's really, really failed. And it, it will be best or better if he brought his all or entire household in order before it's too late. Because as a father, if you won't take this chance to reunite your family where you went wrong just apologizing, it won't cost you a thing. But at least you would have made the right decision. But those are some of the things that they aren't ready to do. When it comes to them asking for forgiveness for how they treated Ari and Megan back then, that's one thing they can't dare even close their eyes and wish to ever do. And that's why they will forever continue just to, you know, they don't know what they want because at the moment you can see even the price itself it's meandering it's kind of one thing on the other side they want to speak positively about harry but at the same time they want to fake things to do with their so-called working royals so it's like they're shaken they don't they no longer know what to do basically that's from my own perspective that's what i think this pra this previous few weeks this particular year, we've been able to say this. It's like they no longer have a stand of their own. They no longer know what to do. Because things even back in the royal family are not working accordingly. Abolishing the monarchy will be the best thing that would happen if it really happened. That's my take. I don't know what's your take. Just comment down below. And see you guys in our next video.